busted all over me. Okay. to my channel so in today's video I'm gonna show you guys how I make my pretty much the salad that I eat every single day and something that I've been doing that's helped with my colitis it's helped with um, weight loss it's helped with just keeping my anxiety under control is I do something called intermittent fasting and basically it is I have an eight hour window of when I eat but usually I don't like don't eat that whole eight hours like um, you eat small amounts within those eight hours and then there's 16 hours most of which I'm asleep um, that I don't eat anything and what I do eat is I eat pretty healthily and it helps my blood sugar stay really in balance and it also really helps with my digestion pain and my colitis so I'm gonna show you guys my really quick and easy um, salad that I do every day and I put the, I'll put all the things that you need in here and pretty much you just throw this together. It's really cheap, it's really easy, and everything I got, um, everything I have here, I got from Trader Joe's except for the maple syrup. We get a really big thing of organic maple syrup for 10 bucks at Sam's Club if you're looking for organic maple syrup because that's gonna be for the dressing. All right, so first thing that you wanna do is you're going to, this is the broccoli and kale slaw. And you're not going to use this whole thing. You're going to use half of this bag. And then it comes with dried cherries, almonds, sunflowers. Um, there's a lot of sugars in those things because they're all candied. So I don't end up using those. And so what I do is I'll just take this out with all of uh, the stuff in it. And then this I'll either put in the fridge or somebody else if no one wants it. I tend to throw those away. Okay, so you're going to use half of this bag. So go ahead and in your big bowl. Let's go ahead and pour that in. And you're not, and one of the big things I think a lot of people tend to forget is even when you're intermittent fasting, that doesn't mean, ooh, my hair, doesn't mean that you should be overeating. So portion control is a really important aspect in this. Um, okay, so here is your salad. Then go ahead to this. You have your raw, ooh, that's a lot of light your raw unfiltered sunflower seeds, and you're just gonna go ahead and push these in, or dump these in there. Um, one of the reasons that I like sunflower seeds is because there's protein, good fats, and there's not as much saturated fats um, from peanuts or almonds that you would get in those. Okay, then you also have some sliced up strawberries. Now, the reason I love strawberries is strawberries are really good at balancing your blood sugar. And that's something for me that I've always had a problem with. And a lot of people don't know that digestive issues cause lots of migraines and headaches, and a lot of that comes from blood sugar issues, and also a lot of weight gain comes from blood sugar issues. So balancing your blood sugar, keeping it all a nice smooth ride, not having a lot of white processed sugars, agave nectar, a lot of people think it's good for them and it's really bad for your blood sugar, and it actually causes you to gain a lot of weight when you're using an excess amount of it, so just be careful, again, everything in moderation. So just, and I just cut up two large strawberries and put them in here, and then again, go ahead and just toss them on in. Some are stuck at the bottom. Okay. And so that's pretty much what I do for these. And sometimes I'll add in avocados for some good fat. I don't have any avocados today. Um, and sometimes you can add in, if you like want a treat, sometimes I'll do honey roasted almonds. But that's like if I am having a splurge day and that's a lot of sugar. And everybody's body reacts differently to things and different sugars and different things that you know, for me, I do not do well with lots of sugar and I crash and I don't really get that opportunity or that chance just to go take a nap because I have a two-year-old. So this is Organic Dijon Mustard and this brand, Organic Valley, um, it's gluten-free. What I love about mustard is that it has zero calories per serving, which is awesome because if you're like me and you're like watching calories or you're trying to keep within a certain range, it's really great to have things like this because it adds some flavor sometimes when you have lots of bland food. So, so again, 
go ahead and what you're going to do is just squirt I'm going to do this close to the camera. Just a fair amount in there. About that much. And of course, I had to squirt over me. And then you're going to take just a little bit of your organic maple, uh, maple syrup. Again, this is not like Mrs. Buttersworth stuff. This is organic maple syrup. And the reason that this is so important is maple syrup actually causes your um, blood sugar to slowly rise. It's a very smooth ride, rather than if you have white processed sugar and it just skyrockets up the wazoo. So go ahead and I'm gonna show you how much I'm using so you guys can see. Just about that much. And it looks like a lot, but like I have tiny hands and this is a really small container. So, um, and this is gonna be your dressing. Now you can add salt and pepper to this. I don't because I'm trying to watch my salt intake just because I, I've been having a lot of stomach issues lately, and I mean, we're not shocked because that is literally my life. But I went to my favorite restaurant the other day. Um, it's called Native Foods Cafe, and I love it. And I get their nachos, and they're so good. And it's all plant-based. It's all vegan. But I don't, I don't do spice very well, even salt anymore. And I had the worst stomach pains all night long because of it. And so I have to really be careful with what I eat, or else I am really sick the next day. And so does Harvey. Harvey had um, eggs the other day on accident and um, he was up and he's been up the last couple of nights and it's hard. So if anybody else has food allergy problems, I'm right there with you because man, it can get intense. And then you don't want to saturate your salad. You just want enough dressing to kind of coat everything. And then you're just going to dump that in and you're just going to spin everything around. Now I'll show you guys how that looks. And let's go ahead and give this a taste. Two big thumbs up. All right, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Give me other dressings you'd like. Also comment below. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification button for all of my new videos.